I think this video is gonna get a lot of people mad. Probably mad at me or I don't know. I just feel like <laughs> I'm gonna offend a lot of people with this video. <sighs> Let's go. Today I wanna give you a comparison between one of the best kayaks that you could buy right now, the Old Town Idle Pilot 120, and one of the best kayaks on paper that you could buy right now, the 133X from Bass Pro Shops. But the Oshel kayak, it just has some big problems. Let me walk you through them, let's go. The 133X by Bass Pro Shop. When I first saw this kayak, I go, I need to have one. I mean, there's no working with Bass Pro. I had to buy this kayak with my own dollars. I don't really care about that. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you the same thing, whether I got it for free or I got, I'll pay for it. I never had a kayak that I truly have major issues with. And it's not like, oh, say the motor broke. It's not like, oh, the drive broke and they sent me a replacement and it got fixed. No, it's the design of the kayak, the problem. The kayak itself is the problem. Not that something broke. It's the design. But let's touch on that later. Now, let's start here in the rear. I love this. This right here, shallow anchor plate right there in the middle. And underneath, you could put a rudder if you want and you could put a Bisbee on it. I did that. I put a Bisbee in there. I put a bow mount trolling motor in the front and it worked amazingly. I, I loved it. But if you're gonna use it like this with a rear motor only, powerful motor and a heavy battery, it's just gonna create a lot of problems for you. Let me tell you. I really love this open space right here. I really love that you have a hash here and you could mount stuff here in the back, but the low quality of this kayak, the plastic is so thin, like I wouldn't venture doing any of that because I just don't trust it. Now, let's talk about the Old Town Autopilot right here. This thing is built tough. It's built in the US. I think that one's built here too. Not quite sure about that, but this thing is built by Old Town to the highest of quality possible. This thing right here is solid, it's solid. This right here, you could feel it, you could see it. It's warping, dude, it's warping. It's not solid at all. You could tell the difference. Gear tracks, both of them have the same gear tracks. I find that lacking. I wish Old Town would have maybe put more gear tracks over here. You could do it too. You have space. And this, depending on, like looking at the size of the tank well, I really like this deep tank well and the high walls and how much space you have. You also have a cutout for a battery there. Over here, the battery goes built in under the seat, which is perfect. And you sort of have the same design here, though you have two cup holders over there. That seat is comfortable, but it doesn't have anything to hold it to. You're gonna have to make your own strap or whatever. Like there's nothing there to hold a seat. Like it's just complete. Like if you flip over, the seat is gonna fall, you know? And we did that today, by the way. So moving forward, the Old Town has cut out here for storage. That's what I had to give to the 133X. This thing has a lot more storage solutions for you. You could put your whatever accessories you have, pliers. Look at that. Look at those deep channels. This thing is just lovely the way on paper that it was designed. And then over here, when you stand up, you have so much space to walk, stretch, to put stuff underneath the seat. It comes with a junk drawer, which I don't have right here, but it, you could use it with a junk drawer using the high seat. The autopilot also have the high seat in position, has a nice little place right here to put your uh, whatever belongings. But this year 133X has a major, big, humongous, hatch in the middle that you could put a stuff in there uh, it has water because i flipped it today the full rest both of them come with the full rest but like this is like a mickey mouse full rest that like literally is it works but it's not really that good uh, especially when you have a powerful motor in the back when you want to steer this thing kind of like gets stuck in there it's like it's wobbly look look at this look at this it's not as opposed to this one from old town it's a little wobbly too but it's because you know what maybe i need to uh to fix it but 
for example if you're a big dude all you have to do is just push it back if you're a small kid you just push it back here you have so many adjustments this thing just works amazingly i've been using this boat since february 2020 and it's still working like the first day in terms of the steering and all that stuff i did have to replace my motor that's the original one it lasted three years still works but it doesn't do the autopilot thing so i had to get a new one but this boat three years of heavy use i do not take care of this boat let me tell you and it's still alive let's keep going you got some cutouts and things that you could put flyers and stuff if you get the 136 version which is a more compatible to this boat you're gonna have more deck space and all that stuff so you kind of have the same thing here but you have more useful space look at that instead of having the motor right there occupying all that space you will put your motor right there on the bow far far away from you very far away so you have more space to carry stuff like when i use this boat for fishing and stuff i could put a bunch of stuff in the front like coolers and whatever i could lay flat my net whatever i need to here you have less space to work with that's why i'm saying like on paper this is such an um, amazing design i had a nice hatch in there with the access point but i had to change it i had to remove it now another problem like i don't know if this they made this only for moro guys because i put a minkota unit here and it was terrible look at that see that's broken i couldn't quite make it work it wasn't easy to make this work it was just terrible to do this installation and what you have here on the autopilot 120 is a it comes like that from the factory everything is ready to go all you have to do is get your battery from amp outdoors lithium batteries by the way guys the best battery you can buy with your money use coupon code alias5 to save you five percent and enjoy fishing yes amp outdoors is sponsoring this video i love them i've been using them for ever and i highly recommend you you pay a little more for your lithium battery but you get something that works something that is not gonna catch on fire something that has warranty and real customer service behind it don't just go for the amazon cheap one because you're gonna be sorry let me tell you get amped outdoors lithium batteries okay on paper i love this kayak i wish it would be made by old town i wish bass pro would tell hey old town just do this kayak for me like it will be amazing it will mean this plastic will be strong it will mean that over there in the front would just work it will like i didn't even test electrical connections like i wouldn't even try to test it i just don't want to be even more disappointed with the lack of execution and the terrible build quality that this kayak has but it's nice it's uh it's not about price either so how would I use this kayak with no trouble? And, and let me tell you what, I would just put the bow mounted trolling motor like they have it on the commercials, on the ads, and call it a day. I would put a heavy rudder on the back and that's it. I would try to carry nothing right here on the back. I would also through the hatch over there, get some blocks, heavy blocks of foam, not heavy, but thick and like kind of like not scoochy, you know, like solid and put it here so I could lift this place right here a little bit you see that there you see how that thing is dented like literally if i stepped on it you see how it goes on there and you know what the worst problem is where are the scoper holes oh right here in the front they're like on a mountain the water's supposed to get out of this kayak through the highest point tell me if that isn't stupid and not just stupid it could like literally your life could be in danger like i was using this thing today with a motor and water will come through the scupper holes and stay here and pull in there the black pack was almost like four inches deep in water it made that boat a little unstable and you could flip this you could flip this easy really if you catch your own wave or you turn too fast you could i could have flipped on this boat it, it it made it dangerous and this is one of the e main issues that i have with this kayak like literally this tank well is useless you put a heavy battery a cooler back here and you're just asking for trouble trouble all that water in there is very dangerous the first time i took it fishing i only had the bow mounted trolling motor in there and i have my bispy here in the back and it's really light and I really I don't think I pay attention to the back at all 
it, it was fine so if you're gonna use it like that with just the bow mounted trolling motor go ahead you shouldn't have a problem the second you need to use this right here and i seen people put heavy gas motor in here you just asking for trouble brother don't do it like they should have that should have made this plastic a little tougher or if not just put blocks in there do a giant hash right here to be able to do that from factory and build two more scoper holes right here in the back so that water would drain out they didn't do that and that's just one of the things that i remember from because it just happened recently but there were so many little things that were just annoying as hell with this kayak now granted it's only eleven hundred dollars it's an excellent price i may sell this one for four or five hundred bucks when i'm done with it but you're not gonna get quality stuff like this you're not gonna get hobby quality you're not gonna get old town quality you're not gonna get it not even feel free quality okay not even pelican because pelican makes stuff that actually work you're not gonna get any of that stuff with this nonsense right here like even little stupid silly things like you sit here and then the closest gear track is like 10 miles away i had to put a mighty mount there to be able to use my motor throttle my nk300 throttle right there this little thing right there that you see there that will hold the motor or whatever or lift the rudder it was in the wrong way they did it so you i had to basically take it out of there put it here and flip it around and then it worked it's just some horrendous stupid little things i'm, I'm pissed and that's the problem when you buy something with your own money you maybe are too harsh on it that's what you guys don't understand I, I will personally trust a pay reviewer online that I know that I've been following for a while that I know what they're talking about than somebody who just happened to buy a, a product and just happened to make a video about it and they don't know what they're talking about because what maybe the problem they're having is just user errors or two if they're not having any problems maybe they didn't put the product through the paces through the test that they need to be put through and you're getting the wrong information basically and nothing on the person just that they don't know what they're doing anyways back to the story here if you want good stuff the top of the line stuff you're gonna have to pay for it forty four hundred dollars right here not including the battery add the battery you're looking at <laughs> a lot of money is it worth it yes is it for everybody no not everybody could afford this type of things and affording doesn't mean they don't have money <laughs> they're probably richer than you are dude watching this video they just choose to use their money for other stuff like i don't know losing the money in the market or things like that whatever they want to do with their money four thousand dollars five thousand dollars maybe too much money for them maybe they're just gonna take this once a year right so oh eleven hundred dollars oh yeah with a motor and twenty eight hundred dollars with everything that i need to make that motor work oh yeah this is this is not bad at all uh, let me just put some money here i mean even if it's not perfect i'm just gonna take it out once a year and so no not a big deal right i think i've been a little harsh on this because i'm disappointed and also because maybe i bought it with my own money and i got bias against it which i really doesn't matter because i don't think it's the bias because i i i treat every kayak the same way man i just never had a kayak that had whole issues like this problem with the kayak itself i had kayaks like hobby kayaks that stuff would break i had old town i actually i never had a problem with old town the only problem i have with old town recently is that this motor the ipilot stopped working and that's more like a minkota problem than old town like i never had a problem with old, old town this is weird i never had a problem with bona 5 either never had a problem with native watercraft either i did had issues with hobie and i had issues with feel free a lot of people had issues with the pelicans i never was able to duplicate it never had an issue with the pelican kayak i, I know people had okay but anyways going back to my heart and my harshness of that i think it's more that i'm disappointed because this could have been such an excellent value i wish i could come here and say forget a old town forget anybody just go to bass pro and get this kayak and you're gonna love it but i can't say that and i wanted to say that you don't know how hard this is 
an 1100 hour kayak that you can motorize super easy and take it fishing and you have like a boat but it's such a disappointment this kayak could have been such a wonderful kayak but it's just built wrong i was saying before i went on my little rant and if you're still watching thank you that you could make this work for you you could easily spend a moments just putting the blocks in there lifting that deck up a little bit watching how much weight you put here in the back the battery like i was using a heavy battery today instead of having that battery here you could just run the cables a little longer and look how much how much space you have in the front you could literally put a black pack in here and get an amped outdoor 36 volt lithium battery put it inside and put it right there in front of you is it gonna look amazing no but it doesn't matter right and you have the the rear deck maybe just for your cooler or whatever light stuff that you're taking with you you can make it work you can make it work it's just that it's, it's stupid silly things anyways now for the factory if they do do a update to this model they could easily fix this dude all you have to do is um add more scoper holes here in the back make the deck rigid if they're gonna use the same chip tiny thin plastic at least they could put foam blocks underneath and make it rigid and that we're not gonna have the issues another thing another thing and this one could you could fix it by just plugging the the holes but like when i was going like about five miles an hour plus and there was a little bit of wave water would like pff, 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 splash through those holes like pff, pff, pff. it was crazy it was crazy yeah so Thank you for watching this video entirely and I hope it helps you somehow. I'm always honest with you guys and tell you what I think. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say and um, see ya.